Question 47.8. Questioner, in our esoteric literature numerous bodies are listed. I have listed here the physical body, the etheric, the emotional, the astral. Can you tell me if this listing is the proper number, and can you tell me the uses and purposes and effects etc. of each of these and any other bodies that may be in our mind, body, spirit complex? Answer, I am Ra. To answer your query fully would be the work of many sessions such as this one, for the interrelationships of the various bodies and each body's effects in various situations is an enormous study. However, we shall begin by referring your minds back to the spectrum of true colors and the usage of this understanding in grasping the various densities of your octave. We have the number seven repeated from the macrocosm to the microcosm in structure and experience. Therefore, it would only be expected that there would be seven basic bodies which we would perhaps be the most lucid by stating as red ray body, etc. However, we are aware that you wish to correspond these bodies mentioned with the color rays. This will be confusing, for various teachers have offered their teach learning understanding in various terms. Thus one may name a subtle body one thing and another find a different name. The red ray body is your chemical body. However, it is not the body which you have as clothing in the physical. It is the unconstructed material of the body, the elemental body without form. This basic unformed material body is important to understand for there are healings which may be carried out by the simple understanding of the elements present in the physical vehicle. The orange ray body is the physical body complex. This body complex is still not the body you inhabit but rather the body formed without self-awareness, the body in the womb before the spirit mind complex enters. This body may live without the inhabitation of the mind and spirit complexes. However, it seldom does so. The yellow ray body is your physical vehicle which you know of at this time and in which you experience catalyst. This body has the mind, body, spirit characteristics and is equal to the physical illusion, as you have called it. The green ray body is that body which may be seen in seance when what you call ectoplasm is furnished. This is a lighter body packed more densely with life. You may call this the astral body following some other teachings. Others have called this same body the etheric body. However, this is not correct in the sense that the etheric body is that body of gateway wherein intelligent energy is able to mold the mind, body, spirit complex. The light body or blue ray body may be called the divchanic body. There are many other names for this body especially in your so-called Indian sutras or writings, for there are those among these peoples which have explored these regions and understand the various types of divchanic bodies. There are many many types of bodies in each density, much like your own. The indigo ray body which we choose to call the etheric body is, as we have said, the gateway body. In this body form is substance and you may only see this body as that of light as it may mold itself as it desires. The Vyada tray body may perhaps be understood as what you might call the Buddha body or that body which is complete. Each of these bodies has an effect upon your mind, body, spirit complex in your life beingness. The interrelationships, as we have said, are many and complex. Perhaps one suggestion that may be indicated is this, the indigo ray body may be used by the healer once the healer becomes able to place its consciousness in this etheric state. The violet ray or buddhic body is of equal efficacy to the healer for within it lies a sense of awareness which is extremely close to unity with all that there is. These bodies are part of each entity and the proper use of them and understanding of them is, though far advanced from the standpoint of third density harvest, nevertheless useful to the adept. Question 47.9 Questioner which bodies do we have immediately after physical death from this yellow ray body that I now am in? Answer, I am Ra. You have all bodies in potentiation. Question 47.10 Questioner, then the yellow ray body in potentiation is used to create this chemical arrangement that I have as a physical body now? Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. 
This is incorrect only in that in your present incarnation the yellow ray body is not in potentiation but in activation, it being that body which is manifest. Question 47.11 Questioner, then after death, from this incarnation we still have the yellow ray body in potentiation, but then in the general case of our planetary population after death, would they then normally have the green ray body manifested? Answer, I am Ra. Not immediately. The first body which activates itself upon death is the, form maker, or the indigo ray body. This body remains, you have called it the, K, until etheria has been penetrated and understanding has been gained by the mind, body, spirit totality. Once this is achieved, if the proper body to be activated is green ray, then this will occur. Question 47.12 Questioner, let me make a statement and you tell me if I am correct. After death then, if an entity is unaware, he may become what is called an earthbound spirit until he is able to achieve the required awareness for activation of one of his bodies. Would it be possible then to activate any of the bodies from red through violet? Answer, I am Ra. Given the proper stimulus, this is correct. Question 47.13 Questioner, what stimulus would create what we call an earthbound spirit or a lingering ghost? Answer, I am Ra. The stimulus for this is the faculty of the will. If the will of yellow ray mind, body, spirit as that which is stronger than the progressive impetus of the physical death towards realization of that which comes, that is, if the will is concentrated enough upon the previous experience, the entity shell of yellow ray, though no longer activated, cannot either be completely deactivated and, until the will is released, the mind, body, spirit complex is caught. This often occurs, as we see you are aware, in the case of sudden death as well as in the case of extreme concern for a thing or another self. Question 47.14 Questioner, well then, does orange ray activation after death occur very frequently with this planet? Answer, I am Ra. Quite infrequently, due to the fact that this particular manifestation is without will. Occasionally another self will so demand the form of the one passing through the physical death that some semblance of the being will remain. This is orange ray. This is rare, for normally if one entity desires another enough to call it, the entity will have the corresponding desire to be called. Thus the manifestation would be the shell of yellow ray. Question 47.15. Questioner, what does the large percentage of the Earth's population, as they pass through the physical, activate? Answer, I am Ra. This shall be the last full query of this working. The normal procedure, given the harmonious passage from yellow ray bodily manifestation, is for the mind and spirit complex to rest in the etheric or indigo body until such time as the entity begins its preparation for experience in an incarnated place which is a manifestation formed by the etheric energy molding it into activation and manifestation. This indigo body, being intelligent energy, is able to offer the newly dead, as you would term it, solar perspective and a place from which to view the experience most recently manifested. Is there a short query we may answer at this time? Question 47. 16. Questioner, I will only ask if there is anything that we may do to make the instrument more comfortable or to improve the contact? Answer, I am Ra. The appurtenances are conscientiously measured by I and spirit. You are conscientious. All is well. Observe this instrument to ensure continued building of the vital energies. It will have to work upon its own physical energies for this weakness was brought about by free will of the self. I am Ra. We leave you now in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. Go forth, therefore, rejoicing in the power and in the peace of the one infinite creator. Adonai.